Hello everybody and welcome to the Gamers Looking for Party channel. I'm Rosie and today we are going to be playing Life is Strange as voted by people who saw my voting thing and was like, let's watch her play Life is Strange. Though I do feel like Artie might have like had something to do with this. She was really set on me playing Life is Strange. So... <coughs> The episodes for this might be a little longer, I, just to uh, um, really get everything in one episode. Like, it's a story game, so we want to make sure we're getting the full story and not chopping up things we need to. I just want to say that I've never played this game and I have avoided spoilers for a very long time so that when I did play the game I wouldn't I wouldn't be spoiled about things um so yeah uh as I was saying I feel like Artie may have rigged the votes because I think she really wanted me to play this game um, and we're gonna try to keep the, we're, we might have the, they might be a little longer, these episodes, due to the fact that it is a, like, intense story game, and we don't want to have to break up, holy shit, tornado, <laughs> we don't want to have to break up, you know, story, the story. Jesus. Holy shit. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. Hello, Tornado. Are we going to the Wizard of Oz? I'm sorry. <gasps> Whoa! That was so surreal. He famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I want to look. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I want to look. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. Oh. So, Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... I can't Robert believe Frank. I still have this pencil case. Too, I should upgrade to the 21st century. The no of way, the pencil like cases are cool. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the air. But I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Beauty without a beat. Which explains my why little Frank camera bag is battered, but still years. kicking. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well. We've all seen that I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Shame. 
can take a selfie. Urban solitude of the 20th century poet. What happens if I read this? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month. Oh my goodness, there's a lot here. Do I have to read all of it? These are people in the class. <sighs> okay. It is a story game. Here we go. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. He was a true renaissance okay. man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <coughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, uh, I did know. I did know. But I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Sweet. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart oh, a career cute. in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay. What do we do? Oh, there's a notebook. Can we look at it? Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people... Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Tempted. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Product GRLT 64S with the speed and power expected from a new green I don't care. Watch, that's like something super important to the story. Let's talk to Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. I want to talk to her. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Want to grab a cup of coffee? I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Uh. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That is kind of cool. I'm exploring. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Yeah. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? Yeah, it God, does. I'm such a photo nerd. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Sure, let's take a photo of it. Okay. 
Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh. Dear Kate, we love your porn video, XOXO Blackwell Academy. Let's talk later, Max. Oh. Is there anything over here I can look at? Books! I like books! So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henry Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Girl, you are- Can't- Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Hmm. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. <clears throat> you have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, we're gonna leave this room. Here we go. Here we go, we're leaving the you room, didn't guys. Tell me how cute I, looked yet. I was about to. Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Harry I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Yeah, it is. Boring as fuck. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Alyssa and Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are to very cool. All of you, American girls, it's sad Alyssa is always texting, but Imagine she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Without you, American girls, I'd like to. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Driving a car by the sea. I love that picture of mom and dad. Watching Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Ah, uh, Stella. I like her. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. To all of you, American That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. No one can tell where your heart is. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must yes. make him in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Oh, Brooke is cute. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. <coughs> she seems like his type. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. 
Antis of Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months. I cry sometimes walking around my own place. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Talking <laughs> about her own place. PC laptop fully loaded. Reward. My backpack with all my school books and my tablet was taken from the cafeteria. After I left it on the table, I really need this stuff for school. My tablet has a lot of personal pics of my late cats, RIP. So I'm willing to pay small cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details or would like to confess, you know, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Poster. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Save Arcadia Bay. Over the past decade, climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. Well, the song play again. I really like. I wonder what actually happened to her. I feel like that's important to note. Missing person. They should named just call Rachel. it a sugar machine. Ooh, that would look. be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Oh, I didn't see this poster. I wish October would last forever. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. To all of you, American girls. Good thing I left my AK at home. Yeah. Imagine Where am I supposed to go? You. Bathroom? American girls There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Driving a car by the seaside. It looks like she's been gone for months. Okay. I was just seeing if there's any other information that would oh, pop up. Oh, I can up. hardly wait. Never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Join the chess team. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. He's cute. A cute. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. The Bigfoot stop. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Go team. That's my school spirit. <clears throat> Miss Grant is a great science teacher. I cry sometimes. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. We're learning. Bubbler! Bubbler! Okay. Is there anything else in here? Can I go down this way? Ooh, a trophy. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Go otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. Yeah, we they can't go stop. that way. I wish I knew how to make her go faster. Run! Run, girl, run! Alright, to the bathroom! Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Natural Amber is a b That's the girl that was on the missing poster, isn't it?
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. No. Oh. Hi, butterfly. Window Is this closes, like the movie? A window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. This poster must drive people to have sex. Hold on, I need I'm to look at the tampon. Thanks. I needed to look at the tampon dispenser. I'll just take a photo quick. Is that a dude? This is the women's locker. I mean, restroom. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying I'm to control me! I'm freaking out right you now! You're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What? What is happening? <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of What? Can you give I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, the human time machine. And white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Yeah, you can. Always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Okay. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. 
Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Huh. People's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The okay, how do I rewind? Do I just keep going? Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American Daguerreo. Think, what? Max. Rewind and find something. What is happening? Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them ex Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth I don't to the know first self-portrait? I don't know what I'm doing. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Okay. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the now she's staring at me. Features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be fed yep. by yep. the art world. Yep. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Yep. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I, see I can you see you pretending not to see, not to see me. Okay. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Let's talk to Kate, though. I want. I feel. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I just really think everyday heroes is an important cultural event. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I... I just want to see what'll happen, yes. okay? Excuse don't me. Don't judge me. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd okay. never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. That's so hot it's in my room! Time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. <sighs> Go on now. Don't let me stop you. <sighs> do I want to do that? It seems that I do. Excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Oh my god. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Yeah, well, I have to go save a woman with the blue hair and the turtles.
I don't know what the turtles have to do with anything. Bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Sweet, now I can move faster. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wowzer, it, so I need a hammer to break it open. You told me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had yes, to use sir. the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Matson. The situation is under control. There's yeah, no thank emergency you. here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. What is wrong with you, sir? I am an adult child. And you are harassing me? Keep forgetting how you to look talk a to people. Out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I don't know what to do! Ah! Report! I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. Oh god, I'm gonna get in sure? so much trouble yes. for this. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. <laughs> Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family <laughs> and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge i'll look into the matter personally thank you for bringing it to my attention that's it after what i told we'll you we'll continue this discussion later in my office oh, i shouldn't Please have said anything go outside with the rest of your class now miss caulfield i shouldn't have said anything of course this academic drone won't do anything since the prescott family owns blackwell now should i rewind and change my story yeah you are we're doing that right now You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. We are gonna just hide the truth because it don't matter no I anyway. Just got sick in class. And we don't want to get um, killed by nobody because they get upset for me talking. Like 
And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. <laughs> We're just gonna live with the consequences. Living with the consequences of our actions. It looks so peaceful. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I don't know what to say. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and I am and sweating now, so much right now. Now, before I sign now. you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Hell yeah! Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Yeah, I'm cool. You know what? It can have all the consequences at once. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. <laughs> Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Oh my god, Stella? Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Who? Now, what does that mean? How do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. What? Well, I heard that from a good source. She's the one that's missing. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. How do they know that she said cool kids with K's? Oh, what? Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I oh, you guys are going too fast! I need some info in space. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. Camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Hold on. What is this? Okay. 
We don't care about that. Um... Not all those who wander are lost, though. Well, I'm going to end this episode here, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, if you somehow come into contact with Rewind Powers, such as Max here has, um, I don't know. I don't know what you should do about it. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I guess we'll have to find out next time. And be sure to comment, like our videos, subscribe to our videos, our channels, and uh, check us out on all the social medias on the Twitter. And, uh, Twitch is now up and running, so check that out. And, and we will, uh, yeah, see you, see you next time. And everything, yeah. Okay. Well, bye!